Cybersecurity Today brings you the latest cybersecurity news with the help of our sponsor, Trend Micro. Closing a valve on a suspicious game, infected Android apps, and another resume scam. Welcome to Cybersecurity Today. It's Wednesday, August 1st. I'm Howard Solomon. Trust is big in the internet age. We trust the websites we go to are secure. We trust the software we buy is secure. However, sometimes that trust is violated. That appears to have happened at GameMaker Valve Corporation, which this week pulled a game called Abstractism from its online Steam store after allegations that it was exploiting players' computer resources to mine for cryptocurrency. According to British security reporter Graham Cluley, Valve confirmed that it had removed Abstractism and banned its developer from Steam for, quote, shipping unauthorized code, trolling, and scamming customers with deceptive in-game items. One of the tip-offs that something was wrong was the game was slowing down users' computers. That's because it was using an unusual amount of processing power. Also this week, security vendor Palo Alto Networks said it had discovered 145 apps in the Google Play Store infected with malicious Microsoft Windows executable files. Now, this malware wouldn't have affected an Android device, but if that device was connected to a PC and the files were downloaded and executed, the malware would spread. It isn't clear if that was the intent. Researchers think the computer or computers used by the app developers were infected, and that's how the malware got onto the Android apps they were creating. Some of the infected apps include Learn to Draw Clothing, an app teaching people how to draw and design clothing, Modification Trail, an app showing images of trail bike modification ideas, and Gymnastics Training Tutorial, an app letting people find healthy ideas for gymnastic moves. Google was warned, and these apps have been removed now from the Play Store. But this is also a warning for mobile app developers. You've got to do a better job of scanning your computers and your app software before release. Finally, there's a new email-based malware campaign going around Canada and the U.S. with malicious resume attachments. The header in the email might say something like, about a role or job application. The message says the attachment is password protected and helpfully includes the password for the supposed resume. But if you open the file, you're stung. The file code itself isn't malicious. That would tip off your antivirus software. Instead, the file connects to a server, which then downloads the malware. That malware could try to steal data on your computer, steal cryptocurrency from a digital wallet, or infect the computer with ransomware. The discovery was made by security vendor Proofpoint. There are two ways to stop this. First, you need to make sure that macros don't automatically run in any Office productivity software you have. If an application asks you to enable macros, make sure you're confident about the security of the file. Second, ignore email with attachments from people you don't know. Even if you think you know who's sending you a message, be careful when clicking on any attachments. That's it for Cybersecurity Today. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or add us to your Alexa Flash briefing. Thanks for listening. I'm Howard Solomon. Cybersecurity Today is produced by the ITWC Podcast Network. This episode was brought to you by Trend Micro, smart, optimized, connected security solutions for your connected world. Learn more at trendmicro.com.